Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars coming to you from the frozen tundra like plains of sunny western New York State. And Starbucks, I just learned about this uh, tonight as I was listening to Savage Nation on my way, going on my way home. Well, Starbucks got hit by a cascade of negativity after they ordered wait staff to talk about racism with customers. They're also writing uh, race together on cups to try to stimulate conversation. Uh, what the? What is wrong with these people? I can't figure this. I mean, you're supposed to be there. You're supposed to have. A pleasant uh, environment for customers to just enjoy themselves. And you're trying to bait them on race and get that discussion going? No. Nah. And of course, as a white person, I'm supposed to feel all this guilt and stuff. I don't. I'm not a Starbucks customer. I'll be honest with you, my uh, middle, sti middle finger would get mighty stiff in a hurry if uh, they started in with me like this. Vice President uh, has had to delete his Twitter account as uh, public ripped him a new you know what. It says Corey DeBroa, a Starbucks PR executive, was forced to delete his Twitter account as he felt overwhelmed by the volume and tenure of the discussion. Yeah, I would think so. In other words, you got your ass chewed, you stupid idiot. What the hell's the matter with these people? I don't know what else there is to say. <laughs> you know, you go in this place to drink your expensive coffee and have a good time, and all of a sudden you're being lectured by some young punk about uh, racism and stuff. I, I don't get it. This has got to be one of the worst business decisions Ever. Now these people got are getting blasted with uh, angry mail and phone calls, no doubt. I'm not a Starbucks customer, so I've never been in one. But Starbucks does it, and unless people really cause them so much trouble that others take notice. I'm sure other companies are going to follow suit with this type of thing. And I'll be honest with you, my middle finger is going to grow mighty stiff if they do. So you know, i you fallen, take a look at the... while you're at it, take a look at the sidebars. Uh, for that Strayer University. There's a college up in uh, Henrietta does the same exact thing. You won't see a white male advertised anywhere. I'm trying to remember what the name is. But it's the same thing. You see, you might see white females and black females. You won't see a white male anywhere. It's mostly, uh, you know, people of color. They, uh, make it so, you know, white people need not apply is what it amounts to. I'm trying to remember the name of that college up in Henrietta, New York. And it's Brighton Stratton. And they used to run these commercials, um, you know, 
everything except for uh, white people, especially white males. And they didn't advertise to us. They made it perfectly clear that white males are not welcome there. This is how your country is falling. You're white people, especially if you're uh, conservative. You ain't got no rights. You're getting screwed. That's the truth. I don't know anything about the Strayer University, but I guarantee you, white males not need not apply. It's uh, Jim Crow in reverse. Although, I really shouldn't say in reverse. Jim Crow is Jim Crow, no matter who it applies to. And that's about it. Uh, this is absurd and ridiculous. Starbucks is... You go in there for coffee, and they're saying, all right, you're a white person. You need to feel guilty about <coughs> race and all this. I don't think so. It's not going to happen. I would walk right out of there. I would tell them to go... If you'll excuse the expression, I would tell them to go fuck themselves and I would walk out. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm disgusted. I'm pissed off right now. There's all those stories that need videos. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.